I do remember coming to my first dinner party. I had heard that there was this group of people who were getting together, who had all lost parents at a young age. We all had this common language. We didn't have to give each other the key or the guide to understand where we were coming from. There was just an instant recognition about what we had been through and what we were going through today, dealing with something that happened in the past. Uh, and it was just nice and easy to not you know, feel the pressure of explaining yourself. The dinner party is a community of people who've each experienced some form of significant loss. A parent, a sibling, a partner, a friend. We get together over dinner and a couple glasses of wine to talk about it and the many ways it continues to affect our lives. Anytime I brought up the fact that my mother died and the fact that my mother had lived before she died, um, it, was, it was kind of immediately met with this sense of victimization and oh I'm so sorry and then crickets and then a change of subject. Um, and so this is a space where there are no crickets. <laughs> Very simply. For us, it's it's so much been about friendship. You know, we've experienced these heavy things in our lives, but we're continuing to grow and evolve and flourish with each other. So it's really just been a very special experience that's brought us together as a family. And we know we can rely on each other for just about anything. You can just be real here. I feel like you don't have to um, have these like veils over you. I think that's like, a really beautiful thing about this place. It's really refreshing to be with a group of people who not only can you bring it up to, you can talk about every aspect of it and not feel judged or like you're different or like you're that, you know, the girl who lost her dad. You don't carry that label at the dinner party. You're just like everyone, everyone else there. It's like going to dinner with a big group of people you've known your entire life. And it weaves through talking about loss into talking about work, you know, because the truth is loss permeates life. Since the first teeny little atom was formed like death has been happening, yet we're still so awkward about talking about it. And because we're awkward about it, it like negatively impacts people's lives. So like, we are ready to be able to have places where we can come together and actually be real about the fact that we live and the fact that we die and the fact that both of those things are happening. We're always moving in a forward motion and we're always looking forward to the next thing. You know, when we're together, it's, it's like you, you check the heaviness at the door. <laughs> yeah, bad crap's happened to all of us, but we've also experienced something that I think has made us all better and has brought us together, and that's something that I always love when I come here, and here I am again, so. I've shared some of some things that are really vulnerable or intimate to me, and everybody else has, and it's kind of just like, it feels like a family in itself. I just hope that there's more of this, because I think, I think that the world needs this. If one thing's for certain, we are all going to experience loss. We envision a day in which when that happens, whether it's to you or to somebody that you love, there's a seat at a dinner party waiting nearby. That's why we need your support, to take what we've already learned and to continue building the infrastructure beyond our existing five tables. So, we invite you to learn more at www.thedinnerparty.org. We'll see you at dinner.